Jane's death is under investigation. Did excessive bullying contribute to her suicide? The student's smartphone is being analyzed right now by deputies as evidence. The tragedy has community leaders saying enough is enough, taking drastic measures now to stop this problem. Fox 17's Nikki Genowitz live in our satellite center tonight with what they are doing. Nikki. We've all heard the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But more research is showing that saying is just not true. And with smartphones, those words are getting even harder to escape. 2017 has been a heartbreaking year for Wilson County Schools as the district mourned the lives of two students at Lebanon High School, taken too soon by suicide. I think it's an epidemic with our young people. Even more startling, for every suicide death, there are 25 attempts nationwide. According to the CDC, from 2007 to 2015, suicide rates doubled among teen girls and increased by more than 30 percent among teen boys. It's the third leading cause of death in young people in Tennessee, claiming more lives each year than cancer, heart disease, HIV, and meningitis combined. Roger Dinwiddie is the president of Stars in Nashville and blames something most of us have on the increase, smartphones. Increases because of social media, because of the rampant acceleration of a text, a post. All of a sudden you're talking about potentially thousands of people who see the post, see the text, the forwarded text, who see the harmful things that are said. So it exacerbates that risk, if you will. Jennifer Johnson with Wilson County Schools couldn't get into specifics, but blamed social media bullying on much of the reported conflicts among kids at their district. There were just a couple of specific situations that, that raised it to the level of needing a very targeted solution. A lot of times, you know, we find out after the fact that something really horrible has been going on. That's why this fall, the district decided it's time to fight fire with fire, launching the Stop It app at Lebanon High School, paid for by insurance and free for students. It allows kids to communicate with school teachers and administrators live and anonymously to report hurtful words and actions. The student doesn't know who the adult is and vice versa, so it allows for a little bit more of an open conversation for people to um, you know give specific information without feeling like they're going to be retaliated against by one of their classmates. While conversations made on the app may be anonymous, district leaders and local law enforcement want kids to know the Snapchats, texts and Facebook posts they're sending to one another are not. The Wilson County Sheriff's Office warns bullying can be considered harassment and there can be legal consequences if it gets taken too far. Right now, a deceased Wilson County teen cell phone is being investigated as deputies work to determine if excessive bullying contributed to her suicide. We look at hard evidence. Uh, you know, anything that's done on social media can be tracked down. Um, and so we're in the process of, uh, you know, any kind of investigation goes on, we will make sure that we take it to the fullest extent. And coming up for you tonight on Fox 17 News at 9, we're taking a closer look at a group targeted especially hard by bullies, the LGBT community. Reporting live in the Satellite Center, Nikki Genowitz, Fox 17 News.